Next on Fox News at 9, Fargo is using new technology to protect vulnerable parts of the city. Representative Peterson says when it comes to the next farm bill, farmers need to be patient. And it looks like Tim Pawlenty wants to become President Pawlenty. Hi everyone, welcome to Fox News at 9. It's still March, so we shouldn't be surprised that there's a, another winter storm headed our way. And it's bringing a lot of unwanted precipitation. Let's get the very latest from Fox meteorologist Kip Hines. Kip? Eventually we're going to be seeing a rain, snow, sleet combination change to all snow, and we're going to be seeing some hefty snow totals, so hopefully your snowblower has one good snow blow left in it. Right now we're seeing a winter storm warning in place for most of North Dakota, northern Minnesota, a winter weather advisory in that area where they are going to be seeing mainly rain for most of Tuesday, but still everywhere should eventually see at least a little bit of snow by the time this storm is done. 34 degrees in the FM area right now with a northeast wind at 5, 36 degrees in Grand Forks, and our temperature is not going to move a whole lot for tonight, and we're going to start out the day with temperatures right around the freezing slash melting point, and that's the way it's going to be all day long. And that's why some areas will see some rain, other areas will see some snow, but eventually everybody will be seeing some snow by the time it's all done. And unfortunately, there is plenty of wind to go along with the snow. And exactly how long is this storm going to be sticking around in your neighborhood? We'll talk about that during the big weather show. Okay, thank you, Kip. The city of Fargo is moving along with its flood protection plan. The city is installing a new protection system called the Trap Bag. Fox reporter Vanessa Pang explains what it is and how it works. Trucks brimming with sand move in and out of the Trollwood neighborhood in Fargo, providing fill for a new device that's full of promises. It's called the Trap Bag System, Pentagon-shaped bags that are connected side by side like an accordion. Here's how it works. Once the hopper is full, it is pulled across the empty bags, creating a barricade against flood waters. The Florida inventor is no stranger to losing everything in a flood. We lost everything we had, blew all our windows out, and came back to nothing, and there was no FEMA in those days. And we just struggled along and got back going in 30 days without, with electricity and back to school in 10 days. So we just I understood how a hurricane, the damage it does. There may not be any hurricanes in Fargo, but Wade says his invention can stop the red. It has a three to one safety factor of, at overtopping by its weight so that it can't move and it ties in one cell into the other. So what it uses about 50% less space and about 50% less material than sandbags to do the same job. What makes the trap bag system different than the rest is it can be built on frozen ground because it doesn't move or lean as it thaws which means no waiting for the rising red. I like seeing them uh, this early in the year, uh, not waiting to the last minute, uh, kind of nice setup. Uh, they're doing a good job. Yeah, it's a, this is a lot better than sandbagging. It's, it's a terrific feeling to be able to come and have people happy that you're here, that you can help them. Vanessa Peng, Fox News. Each cell of the trap bag system is equal to about 220 sandbags. Fargo has enough to protect about six miles. Trap bag officials plan to stay until contractors finish the project by the end of the week. Meanwhile, crews have closed Elm Street in Fargo. Water from the Red River is nearing Elm Street and is expected to spill over by midweek. Elm Street is closed between 14th and 15th Avenues North. Signs are in place directing traffic to use detour routes. The bike path walking trail in the area has also been closed. Minnesota river levels have jumped above flood stage. An ice jam near Highway 19 in Henderson has closed the bridge. When the large chunks of ice build up around bridges, water backs up behind the dam, causing flooding upstream. When the dam breaks up, it can send water rushing downstream and cause flash flooding. Officials are expecting to close more roads as conditions get worse.